I can't help but feel I've made some bad choices. What started off as a babysitter simulator quickly became a desperate attempt at being the unspoken voice of reason. Eight characters became eight lives to attend to, with the possibility that any moment could be their last. Until Dawn is the latest horror title to hit the PS4 library. Supermassive Games has created an unshakable world complete with jump scares and tough decisions. Who survives is ultimately in your hands, giving you more responsibility that only elevates the longer you play. The formula works and you'll have a hard time putting the controller down, especially when the ball gets rolling. It's a surprisingly fun game with an audience, giving everybody the chance to scream that the killer is inside the house. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. The story in Until Dawn piggybacks on our knowledge of the slasher flick genre. It's a tale of tragedy where eight characters squirm for survival while we make the smart decisions. Peter Stormare and Hayden Panettiere are among the most significant, but that isn't to say that the rest of the cast is lacking in any form of acting. For the most part, they are all dedicated and believable actors, although some probably could have used a little more work on the animation side of things. That being said, visuals overall only complement the game, with sharp motion capture and an excellent attention to detail. It also helps to have Dead Space composer Jason Graves tingling our spines. If you saw the demos at game shows and beyond, you would have noticed jumpy animation and screen stuttering, but that has all been somewhat alleviated for a much smoother experience. Visuals aren't the only thing that got the care treatment, for the game itself has a respect for the player's time. Until Dawn is an episodic venture making it easier to play in casual short bursts. The game is also wary of the possibility of broken play, giving you a quick recap of the story and the decisions you made before diving into the world again. Of course, the story isn't without flaws. Inconsistent pacing issues are prevalent throughout. Just when the train starts rolling, it begins to slow down. That in no means takes away from the plot highs you'll encounter throughout the tale. You'll weave story arcs according to your decisions, and your doctor visits will keep the tension and excitement high. Just when you think you've predicted the outcome of the story, Supermassive throws you, be it a snowy curveball. Oh! Ah. Oh, hi! Hey! Oh, snap! Decision making is the name of the game, and while there may be moments where you'll be able to explore a relatively large space, calling the shots is what'll keep your band of misfits alive. There are no right or wrong choices, as long as you can live with the consequences of your actions. The game never restarts or asks if you'd like to try again. It's a one-way street in Until Dawn, so you better be prepared. Every time you make a story-changing decision, you'll be notified with the running theme being butterflies. As the game explains, the butterfly effect is the decision-making tree, where a singular decision can determine a variety of outcomes. At the start of the game, it comes off harmless. Do I throw a snowball at a bird, or do I snoop inside someone's backpack? Whatever the decision may be, the game tracks your progress, complete with the alternate choices and a relationship chart. It's a formula that'll keep you on your toes for at least two playthroughs. Quick decisions and careful concentration is a must. Some incidents may test your reflexes as a jump scare surprises you. <laughs> That being said, Until Dawn does attempt to lend you aid from the sidelines. Throughout your journey, you'll encounter totems that can reveal to you bits of information, be it good or bad. On top of that, Until Dawn also caters to the hardcore gamers. For the most part, the story is pretty straightforward, but it does contain plot holes that can only be uncovered through the many collectibles scattered about the snowy mountain. Collectibles that are well hidden and only shine if the light reflects on them. You'll need at least two playthroughs to collect them all. Alas, the gameplay is at its best when the tough decisions arise. When the Saw-like scenes take place, you may be wondering how anyone will make it out alive. Choose who you will save. Oh. Oh, no. Please, give me oh, out. Shit, shit, no! Oh, right. Okay, 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 this is gonna be okay. Story choice games are not uncommon this day and age. Telltale, Bioware, and many other developers have taken this mechanic and explored its different approaches. So we dare say that Until Dawn probably does it the best, since the entirety of the game is centered around this theme. If you're looking to spice up your horror movie nights, look no further. Until Dawn is an excellent game to play with friends, about friends, be it dead or alive. I'm Skulls and Harrow. If you like this review, you can subscribe to Game Gods for future game coverage. So for any other Let's Plays, previews, or reviews, keep it here on Game Gods. You in there? Whoa! Christ! <sighs> I scared the blue out of my jeans. <laughs> the hell is that doing in there anyway?